Hey guys, we're here for the final round coverage, Women's Leap Card Las Vegas Challenge. This is pre presented by Innova Champion Discs, and we're at Wild Horse Disc Golf Club. I'm Lisa Fakis. And I'm Madison Walker. We get another crack at the Innova course today. We're starting with Katrina Allen leading out with 100% scramble rate with 84% fairway hits. Sweet probably easy to get 100% scramble when you're hitting the fairway that much. No doubt. Uh, Jen, also 100% scramble rate, 68% fairway hits, minus six for the tournament. Page. Oh. Evelina. <laughs> Evelina Salonen, <laughs> actually, I believe, is in fourth place. Hmm. Okay, um, yeah. And Paige Bjorkus is in third. The, we have the switch stats there. I'm sure you guys recognize Tugs. them. <laughs> <laughs> gonna be a fun round today we get to watch a lot more bombs um and this time we have Paige Bjerk is that the only change from round three indeed yes yep. I believe so all right moving on to hole one it's 393 feet there's an OB sidewalk along the right hand side I'm sure you remember there's no trouble on the left unless you really yank your or early release your drive there's some water um some of these lead card ladies can definitely reach the shot there was not a lot of wind on this first on this last round so uh we're going to see some ladies probably flexing out their drives. Yeah, like you said, n no win right there on that flag. Just really calm conditions. And yeah, that's what you want to do on this hole. Get it nice and far out. It's really hard to get it much closer. Yeah, you really have to put it kind of for over the ladies. The yeah, you kind of have to like put it almost at the OB and trust that it will come back to even get close. It's a, it's a, it's a rip. Jen's going for it. Yeah, like you said, she's going at the OB and trusting that late fade. Wow. And there it is. And she's deep. Past the bucket. Wow. That's great. She's safe. <laughs> <laughs> love all the, uh, I love it. Semi-pro spotters. <laughs> Jen would go deep of the pin. Yeah, no doubt. She's got 400 all day. <laughs> she sure does. I think Evelina does too. She takes that direct line. Take, yeah, taking a Get much more skip. linear approach. Mm -hmm. Gets to the base of that hill. She'll have a putt. Rounding yep, nice group. little uphill putt. Par, oh, Jennifer, Paige, and Evelina were tied for one under par going into this round. Okay. been a long day please excuse lisa and i if we are a little no, off yeah, our game <laughs> we lost we lost jessica off the yes off the card from last round katrina pitches up doesn't seem to really be running at it definitely a smart play with the ob sidewalk right behind the basket we're trying to keep it together um it's been a it's been a long week <laughs> <laughs> page is the same pitches up yeah we can both agree on that for sure <laughs> yeah. uh, you guys know how disc golf tournaments go yep Windy, snowy. <laughs> Just we're all sunburnt. We're all windburnt. <laughs> and we're trying to keep a straight head. Uh, Jennifer is going to take her meter relief off of the out of bounds, but she did not go out of bounds. She opts to lay up there. Yeah, it is kind of a death putt. Actually, it's definitely a death putt. Um, and it's not a comebacker that you want to have to make. So no. I think that's a smart play. Yeah. And we're going to see a round of pars here on the lead card. Very typical for the field. I think it's a one of the easier holes for sure. Ninety two percent of the field with a par. We do have yeah. a reduced field today. There was only four cards of women on the course. Right. Forty uh, percent of the field uh, made the cut. So out of thirty one there's fourteen of the ladies, like you said. Um so much smaller data pool for our stats that we'll be giving you all day from the UDISC app. Indeed. Moving on to hole two. 270 feet, the most technical hole in the course, I believe. Uh, the tightest fairway by a long shot. There's really fast green, so you can kind of play the skip if you want. Low hanging branches, you have to keep it low and linear. And try not to hit any of the trees or galloping horses. <laughs> There's an OB road on the right, OB fence on the left. They don't come into play unless you get a mean kick. Katrina gets tangled up in the last bush right before you get to the putting green. Probably still right at circle's edge. 
I find this to be like kind of a hard drive. It's just hard to kind of thread that needle. It feels to me to play longer than 270. I agree. It's, um, I've thrown a few good shots in practice and they're still like 50 short. Yeah. And I thought they were like right there. I've, the only disc I could get there was a Thunderbird and I would never throw a Thunderbird on a 270 foot hole. It would always be, you yeah. know, a putter or a rock. So right. it's definitely plays with that low ceiling. It mm -hmm. plays a lot longer. Paige turns yeah, it over tricky. a little. It is tricky. Mm -hmm. And it's a hyzer flip line. So you have mm -hmm. to flip up to flat and let mm -hmm. it carry straight. Yeah. Jen with a forehand approach that we rarely see her make. And she makes it look like she's done that a million times. Yeah, that was awesome. Paige also from the side of the fairway doing a forehand approach. Just a lot of awkward lies here Definitely. on this fairway. Uh, just so many like weird little bushes and trees. Katrina does those patent pending putt runs better than anybody. Yeah, so she much makes control. them look easy, and they're not. You have to have a lot of stability. Mm. That was this nice soft run by Evelina. Gets it nice and high, ran at the chain. Looks like we're gonna have another batch of pars um, from the lead card. Sitting, everyone's sitting at even. Still a really tight race for second place. Katrina maintains her very large four-stroke lead. And we move on to water holes. It's, you feel safe here. There's, it's blocked from any wind if there is any. It's blocked from any of the scary stuff. Not a whole lot of OB to contend with. And then, mm -hmm. and then we move into one of the hardest holes on the course, in my opinion. At least one of the most intimidating with Island? all that water. Or the seven. The, the water. Yeah. Yeah. Six and seven. Yeah. Oh, this one. Hole three. Oh, hole three. Yeah. That's, yeah. This is a fun um, go for it hole. Um, Heiser and hi uh, Heiser or Flick is the uh, typical routes that you're going to see here. Um, there's not really. Don't be long though, because yeah. that is OB just on that sidewalk. And there's OB off. short as well in the water, but the flag line is about, what would you say, like two or three feet away from the water? push like they they don't give you much of a buffer on that water Katrina pressing that OB edge but rolls yeah look at that roll back back in count on it here we go Jen she's gonna I have a feeling there you go nice and high probably a firebird working the Is hyzer that yeah that nice hyzer you can count on it every time or maybe a mid? Yeah, it looks like a... Uh, maybe a rock three? Rock X3? That are like a gator, maybe? Oh, yeah. I threw a gator. It's, I think, at the perfect disc for this hole. Nice. Evelina working the hyzer line the whole way. A little early, maybe. Kind of catches the that branches. tree and gets the really bad result. Looks like she's not in the water, but she's still out of bounds. There you go. Paige gets a little more action on her disc. Gets it nice and wide. Comes in perfect. Parked. Sweet. Ooh. Oh, nice graphic there. I love the new graphics. Love the, look at the changing colors of the follow flight as we go. Love it. This drop zone is so tricky. I yeah. don't know why it intimidates me so much because that little tree to the right let, doesn't let you throw that little, you know, hyzer jump putt approach. Oh, good run from Katrina. Mm. She almost cashes in for that, too. Yeah. Jen with the putt. huge birdie putt. Looks like about 25 or 30 feet. Slightly deathy. <laughs> Gimme putt from Paige. Paige and Jennifer... Close the gap on first and yeah. narrowing it to only three strokes. Three behind Cat, tied up at minus two. Evelina, two back from them um, at even. So everyone's pretty close right there. Thank you guys for subscribing and checking out the Jomez production videos. We really appreciate you guys watching and following along, especially on the FBO coverage. Moving on to hole four. Yep. Uh, 357 feet, but it plays longer than that, in my opinion. It does play a little longer. Uh, I know these ladies can reach it. They, uh, there are some good birdies the first time around, and um, it's kind of a 
one of those pop-up sky-high shots that you can really unload on. I'm surprised that Me too. Jen took the lower Anheuser middle Very gap. Very surprising. Her I would have thought kind of caters to the high, yeah, the Heiser, Heiser release over those trees on the right, especially because there was no wind. Maybe that's actually why, because of the lack of wind. Uh, the other day, the wind was pushing right to left and really uh, helping your disc. Yeah, stay um, in the air. With the lack of wind, I actually prefer that middle gap as well. Um, of course, we see Katrina sizing one up, and that just needs to keep going. God, she gets so much power on it. Yeah, she forces it there, and perfect. I mean, she's like, what, 20 away at yeah, the most? definitely inside the circle. Evelina looks to be lining up the inside route as well. Oh, wow. Gets tangled up in that tree. That tree is in the perfect place. Yeah, that's why it's so tricky going straight at it and um, a little bit like more at ease just to pop up a big hyzer. Um, but again, it's hard to get there. Um, I, I found it easier with the wind play the first time. It was around. a really great patent pending scramble from Evelina. She'll have a, no problem getting her three. Mm -hmm. Jen doing a little soft run. Paige with a little bit of a longer putt. I'm surprised yeah, to see her going at this aggressively. Yeah, no kidding, since there's that rollaway opportunity there, and she sits nicely. Um, she, yeah. Katrina not running for it. Yeah, that's surprising for sure. Very surprising, because that is not really a death putt. Yeah, it's, it's nice when you're going low to high. Uh, I wonder what she was thinking there. Really, really maybe a little spooked by the possible roll away there is a chance if you hit the band if you hit the cage um uh, sometimes your disc lands really funny so she, maybe she just didn't want to deal with that really preventative and anywho we're not changing any scores there moving on to hole five after a round of pars uh this is one of the longer holes on the course 606 feet there's an ob sidewalk all the way down the right hand side an OB bunker and green before you get to the basket. The Definitely. basket is up on a mound uh -huh. that rolls towards an OB road. <laughs> yeah, I'd say this is like a score separating hole since there's all these issues when you get close to the basket. And then even off the tee box, there's these... The, first of all, the tee, the tee pad for me, for some reason, was awkward. I don't know why. It's definitely I slipped on it, but that's just me. Um, definitely facing a, a little bit of Maybe that's why, because I was really trying to work the disc. But yeah, it's like that weird angle. You're trying to flip your disc over and like land softly where Paige is. She does a really good job of putting herself in position. That's a, I'd say the preferred play by most of these mm -hmm. uh, FPO lead card like women. A, uh, yeah, flip up the flat and then hyzer out at the end. It's kind of like, um, there you go. That, that shot, you, um, kind of aiming at, straight at that tree and then... Unfortunately, she grabs that tree, but that's where we're, we're really aiming at. That spot is not so bad, even if you do hit that tree. That's why it's a pretty um, good risk-reward situation to go for. Mm -hmm. You're Under that tree, you still can uh, mm -hmm. get your second shot up and get... This is a par four, and it's kind of a forgiving par four. Definitely a gettable yeah. three. You want to have a run-up. That's the only thing on your lie. Luckily, Evelina can make do with that. Just oh, a little bit no. awkward. She needs to skip, and she does. Um, but... Once you get tangled up in that left-hand side, there's a whole bunch of trees, and it makes it really tough to get to the basket. Um, you really have to throw a technical Ooh. shot. I like the look of this one. Oh, no way. Wow, that carried. That was a little, a little surprising. It looks so good. You got almost a straight skip instead of a, the normal flare skip you right. have when it lands hyzer. Yeah. Jen really... Maxine went out. Looks to be going oh, she went out of high bounds. off of the wall. You don't see that very much. No, it looks like she was trying to turn it over a little bit more than normal. Uh, sometimes it gets out of gets out of your hand a little early. Paige plays safe. There you go. Kind of bumps it into that wall on the right, and it grabs the hill. So she'll have a short putt. Evelina, not as technical of an out as I thought she would have. Looked to be pretty wide open, yeah. which is fortunate. She can tap in for her par there. And Jen will be collecting a OB stroke, getting the bogey. Katrina's trying to save her par. Running at it. Surprising. Yeah, a little safe run. Stayed yeah. close. But her, she's been feeling pretty Age good on her for cut. the lone birdie on the card. Awesome. 
So much control still we're seeing on pages approaches. Definitely narrowing the it's gap really to only yeah, yeah, narrowing sure. the gap to only two. It's awesome. It's a lot of golf left, and anyone can get this on their lead card. Uh, just being within four strokes of everyone right here. And with actually the separation from first and second, only one stroke. Now we move into a very nervy hole six, <laughs> 222 feet, but the scariest 222 feet you will cover at, in most courses I've played. Yeah. This is an island hole. Fun, scary shot. Fun, scary for sure. Um, kind of you rely on the gravity to pull your disc towards the green instead of throwing it. We'll see a lot of ladies throwing putters. Paige is looking to go super safe over there. Paige did that almost <gasps> same shot the first round, but got the good result last yeah, time. I didn't realize the out-of-bounds. A real finicky, like, out-of-bounds line must be lurking over there. <laughs> In those bushes? Um, but right behind it, I guess. It, you know, it is an island, so it is very touchy. Evelina goes long. I see a lot of MPO players going long on, like, good-looking shots. Um, Jen's going to have to take a lot off of her shot, of course. The play here is to kind of try to find the beefiest, slowest uh, disc you can I and, like, yeah. Yeah. and drop it onto oh, the green. Stop. Wow, that was looking good, too. I would have liked to see Jen pull that one wide over the water, especially with her distance. Um, you kind of have to force a hyzer to take off that speed and come in really slow, um, which it's not really fun to do for players to do, like force a disc over the water that you're not so sh confident about. Um, that's why this hole is so hard. You don't I, see a lot of birdies here. I'm really surprised to see every person on the card going from the drop zone. Yeah, no doubt. That's super surprising from a lead card. Definitely. Uh, but on this, this hole and the last hole, these are, like I said, score separating type holes. Um, kind of like birdie and bogey are popular scores. Definitely. This played as the fourth most difficult hole on the course, which is very surprising mm -hmm. at 222 feet. Yeah. Um, no scoring separation changes. Everyone just adds a stick to yeah. their overall score. I'm, I'm sure they're all kicking themselves a little bit, but that's a tough one. Gave all the seven. second and third card ladies a chance to catch up. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of players lurking back there behind. Um, hole seven, another tricky hole with a lot of water there on the right side, and then OB on the left side. You got the sand traps OB, and then the green OB. So, uh, and it rolls downhill behind the basket to an OB sidewalk. <laughs> wow, yeah. So, are you going to go for it or lay up? Uh, how much do you want to bite off? The Paige is going to do with that middle ground, but you have to be careful about that hyzer skip because she's OB there. Yeah, the play here is to put a high hyzer out over the water and really oh. trust your disc to hyzer back. That's, and That's got a good angle. I hope that crashes. See how that, like, not very much skip. That's an awesome shot. See if Jen can copy that line. Oh, so that needs to come down really quick. I want, part of me I, wonders if she was trying to maybe go oh, for okay. it a little. Almost wanted to, like, stick there but again I would have liked to see Jen Heiser more over the water and that would have came back in bounds probably for her um, much lower line Katrina needs to just hurry up oh that's wet I wonder if she was playing safe or trying to go for the green the green's so skippy even if you just have a little bit of spin you can for make it across Katrina mm -hmm. I think she was trying to prop. She usually goes safely and like she usually has just a little bit more height on her disc. So I think she just accidentally oh, probably no. just threw a little lower line. And then unfortunately there, another OB. Just a reminder, those bunkers are an OB hazard. So you play it from where your disc lies. Evelina does not have to worry about that. However, she is parked on her upshot. Jen playing from where her drive went out of bounds. Nice control on that shot. Had to get it up and over a little scary. <laughs> yeah, and add it, one that you know is there, but you can't see. Right. <laughs> Katrina from OB to OB to in the basket. 
Evelina yeah. with a flaming hot birdie on a really tough hole. No kidding. That's picking up a lot of strokes on the field. Definitely. Page with a par, playing conservatively. I'm doing it really well. Jen with the par as well, even with the OB stroke. So we're going from the most difficult hole on the course. Oh no. Surprisingly played as the easiest hole what? on the course. Yeah, I know that's, that sh possible? that's a shocker. <laughs> that and was, moving to that hole is not eight. not the easiest hole in my opinion, but this is coming in as the third and hardest hole. So that's kind of a, a weird. Very surprising. Kind of a flip flop mentality there. Definitely. And, yeah. So um, this is a, a 400 feet downhill. It's a place for the big Annie bomb, um, but it's really tough to get to because you're sometimes you just want to flip over into those willows on the right-hand side. Um, wow, that was one of the best drives I've ever seen on this hole. That's an excellent drive. She's still going to be about 40 long, I mean short of the pin, with a little bit of a death putt towards the sidewalk. Such a touchy shot. I like how Paige keeps it low and relies on the stability of the disc, but yeah. she does still get tangled up in those trees. It's hard to commit to like hanging it out much wider than that, knowing that there's OB over there. Um, and it's a all these hard pan greens are super skippy. So if you land with any spin, you're going to flash skip. There you go. Jen might get all the way there with that. Very curious as to what that disc is. Holy moly! Wow, that's that's with no awesome. wind. Help. I love yeah. how high she gets it in the air. It just glides so far. I'm curious as to what that is. Probably a flippy destroyer, if I had to guess. Katrina gets tangled up on the right, but still protrudes forward and may have a look at a putt. A long one. And this is such a straightforward shot. It's like hard because it's so straightforward. Yeah. But Paige does a really good job of not getting her putter like away, like, spraying it too much mm -hmm. you know it's like doesn't have too much spin yeah yeah the basket's on a mound um uh, with the sidewalk behind it so you're nice. so worried about skipping too far past mm -hmm. getting a lot of action on the green mm -hmm. <laughs> to one <laughs> little branch <laughs> jen's trying to really buckle down and focus here for this big birdie <gasps> No! You know when you have, like, bad memories on a certain hole? Of, like, <laughs> I, I missed a putt on this certain hole yes. last year, and I missed it in practice or whatever. Like, yep. I have it on this hole for some reason. Me too. Really, it's so like, weird. Something about this basket and this... Uh, it's it's just, so wide open. Yeah, it's in my head. Me too. That's yeah. so strange. Yeah, I thought I'd mention that. Yeah, I, I'm sure other players feel that then too. Well, it's funny that both of us feel that way about this specific no hole. No doubt. It's not like that on many other holes, but... Um, sometimes, but in this hole in particular, for sure. You can see <laughs> Evelina <laughs> covering her head as the geese fly over. Oh there was God. a million Canada geese out there, I guess mating maybe. I don't know. I think I mentioned that in another video, but they were in, and they're mating pairs all over the course. Right. They're not too scared either. They're no. like just hanging out. It's like they're used to people chasing them around <laughs> like the disc golfers were all weekend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, moving on to hole nine, 601 feet. You try to get out of the gap, hyzering, and just land somewhere out in the open field. And then it gives you another long drive approach with an OB bunker just behind the basket that is scary close. You're going to see, if you're going to err, most will are, will err early like Avelina just did. Mm -hmm. um, that palmetto can be really mean um, and grabby. Yeah, you're almost losing a stroke when you go in there because it's so hard to throw out. 100%. Uh, however, this is playing as one of the easier holes today. I think this tee shot is so hard. You you just, you just can't overcommit because you can go in those trees straight and to the right. And there's so much to get tangled up in. You have to hit your gap dead straight. You That's going to work. Jen does that. Oh, she gets tangled didn't. up on the right. Yeah. I did the same thing. She pulls it. Yeah, this is a, a cool hole because it's technical. Um, unlike some of the other pools that are much more wide open. Mm -hmm. It takes some precision. So... Um, another good score separation hole. Agreed. Kat does a really nice hyzer flip. One of her, like, patent shots there. Puts it way out there. Way oh. down the fairway. About 60 feet past Paige Bierkus's drive, giving her an advantage on her approach. Jen still has a little bit of run up, a run up, but it looks like a more technical drive. Oh. Ooh. That was... 
pretty awesome. You know, Jen's got the arm to go big here, and she does well. Wonder how far now she's what, like, circle, maybe. Three. Circle two, circle three. Circle three, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> it's scary to go super aggressive when you're far away because that distance control has to be really, really finite with that bunker so close to the basket. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. It's right behind it. Right behind the basket on the right side. Page looks to be about 275 away. Yeah. Nice pop-up hyzer. Over those little sticky trees. That's exactly what you want. Put a wow. lot of a lot of like angle on your disc. Nice and wide. That's an excellent shot. She really trusts her disc to come back. Even with the OB sidewalk over there. Wide hyzer, but this one's not coming back as much. Oh, and oh, it just no. keeps going too straight. Looks like maybe a putter. Or and she a mid. put that hyzer release on it and just wanted to carry straight for some reason. It sure did. Um, that needs to slow down. Slow. Oh no. Oh, no. By oh inches. my gosh, it's that last jump too. Again, the bunkers are hazard, so they play oh. it where they lie with a stroke. Gosh, that is frustrating. Paige looking to tap in her three. Big old birdie. Guys, we're only halfway done. We still have nine holes left. We have a leader switch. Paige taking it by a stick over yeah. Katrina Allen. A lot Allen. of action going down right here on this score separating hole. Still really tight with only nine holes to go. Anything could happen. Very exciting. Uh, okay. Jenna goes back to even. And that'll wrap up the front nine. Got nine more to go. And some of the hardest holes that we play at Wild Horse Disc Golf Club. Thank you guys for tuning in and checking out the FPO final round coverage. Hope you enjoyed the front nine. I'm Madison Walker. And I'm Lisa Fakus. Thanks, Jomez.